Okay, team. Hey, uh, we're looking at a 10.4 specifically in this video, zero exponents. So let's just start off with a blank sheet of paper here. And I'm going to write down this power base 10 exponent zero. What the heck does that even mean? If you figure it out, let me know. 10 times itself, zero times. It's not 10 times zero. That's not what this is. It's 10 times itself, a zero amount of times. Anyway, I can't wrap my, wrap my brain around it, but uh, it's just something that I know is one. It's equal to one. Anything to the zero power, how about negative three to the zero power? Anything to the zero power is just one. Now, um, this activity gives you some explanation as to why that's the case. So, um, yeah, here we go. So I could rewrite this uh, quotient of powers property. So the, the quotient property, which we did in 10.3, reminder, looked like this. And we learned that the quotient rule is if there's a common base and you're dividing powers and you get to subtract the exponents. So this is, uh, I need to subtract the exponents then. Powers with the same base, let's subtract. That's 3 minus 3 is 0. This is the same thing as 5 to the 0 power. Um, yeah, so all of these are the same base and the same exponents. So 2 minus 2 is 0, 6 to the 0. 4 minus 4 is 0. This is negative 3 to the 0. And this is negative 4 to the 0. All right, now, um, we also know that the numerator and the denominator are the same thing in a fraction that always reduces to one. Like I know that this is just one. The same way I know that two over two is equal to one or 30 over 30 is equal to one. So X over X is always equal to one. If the numerator and denominator are the same thing, it's one. So therefore um, anything to the zero power is equal to one. Um, so yeah, hopefully that sheds some light as to why something to the zero is one. But even if it doesn't, it's just one of those silly things to just remember. Anything to the zero power is one. Okay, thanks for playing.